Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. So in this world, there's some people that have a real sick and perverse behaviour or conduct. So a 16 year old disabled girl was apparently carried to a park in Kent where she was savagely and brutally stabbed between 50 and 60 times and then she was so callously left for dead. Now that many stab wounds screams of a frenzied attack. Either that or the 16 year old boy who's been accused of the stabbing frenzy took his time to inflict as much damage as painfully as possible for his own sick pleasure. This can only be likened to some form of torture practice. The culprit, again, a 16 year old teenage boy, is known to the victim. In fact, it's been said that he was in some form of a relationship with a disabled girl. Therefore, this spawn of Satan and this BITCH inflicted indescribable pain on a person whom he supposedly liked or loved. Now, on the day of the attack, apparently the teenage boy met the girl outside her home before they decided to hang out together. So they walked together to a park known as the Orchard, but at some point the girl began to lag behind, mainly because, due to her disability, she struggles to walk long distances. So the teenage boy then decided to be a knight in shining armour because, again, they were quote-unquote going out together. So he picked the girl up and carried her to a secluded part of the park in Highstead Road in Sittingbourne, Kent. Now, I personally cannot accurately describe the kind of love I feel for a person like this. First, the 16-year-old boy stabbed the girl between 50 and 60 times, and at that moment, prosecutors are saying that it's not known whether the girl will survive. So it's bad enough that the girl has to deal with a form of disability, but then to be subjected to such a brutal and vicious attack, knowing that she can't really run or escape her attacker, and by the hands of a person whom you're supposed to feel safe with. It's just sick. She probably did not even see the attack coming. And if she did, what could she do about it? Now as for the unnamed boy, he has been charged with attempted murder and appeared in court on Monday just gone. As for the attack, the attack took place on July 21st, but the girl was not found until 8am the next day, where she was rushed to a London hospital. Me personally, I'm just waiting for the sentencing report and I'd better see double digits at minimum. All I can say is stay safe, safe, and also I hope that we do reveal who this guy is. Safe. 